Where a hard rock underground mining career can take you. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and today I'm just going to have a bit of a chat to you about where a hard rock underground mining career can take you in the world these days. Now a lot of this information isn't widely known in the general public and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this channel is just to inform people what's going on and today I'm going to use a po an old blog from the Mining Coaches page and as you can see it's uh, mining, it's not just a short term job anymore, it's an international career. Now that has everything to do around hard rock underground so you can start off as a nipper or a truck driver or an offsider on about four hundred dollars a day and in ten years time if you work your way up through all the jobs and you get your WA shift bosses ticket there's no reason why you can't be earning between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a month uh, working for one of the top um, companies in the world like Barminko and Burncut and Ruck and Prybar and the other Australian big underground contracting companies they have um, sites all over the world that they use Australian jumbo operators, shift bosses and foremans to run. They also use other skilled underground miners such as charge up and bogging but they mainly want the jumbo operators, the shift bosses and the uh, foremans to run the mines overseas. So these are huge paying jobs. So if you come over to Seek and have a look and you type underground in, you'll see all the jobs come up. And if you look through them, a lot of these on the first page are actually entry level. At the moment, anything with truck and offsider or nipper it's all having to be filled with entry-level people because there's just not enough experienced people around to fill the jobs we've had an, a big expansion of underground mines opening up in the last six to twelve months and there's a lot more on the way there's another four in Kalgoorlie opening in the next sort of three to four months which is going to put a lot of strain on the lower jobs which is going to create a lot of opportunity for people to get in so if you want to have a crack at getting in and having a long-term underground career then I suggest you have a look at the sponsors intro to underground mining training now it's four online courses and it teaches you everything that the employer wants you to know as a new starter. So it teaches you how the mine works, what you're going to have to do as a nipper, a truck, and a service member of service crew. So it gives you the advantage of knowing what service crew is going in. If you want to have a bit of a look at the pay rates and rosters, you can come over to the sponsors training. They've got some great information on the new starter column. And this one goes into the pay rates and the different tiers for Hard Rock Underground. So you've got uh, the entry level tier, then you've got your mid tier jobs like bogger operator and long haul operator and charge up, and then you've got your top tier jobs like your jumbo operator, the paying $300,000 plus. Now these are long term careers, people can set themselves up for life. I'm not sure why the general media doesn't really go into this or doesn't talk about this in the media more often because this is where the high paying jobs are in the mining industry now and it doesn't really get a run at all, which is a shame. But if you want to have a look at what sort of standards you need to meet, again, on the sponsors page, you can have a look at the mining career checklist and it gives you an idea of the different things that you need to be able to do to be able to get a job. Um, one of the big ones is being able to pass a full medical, pre-employment drug test and police clearance. With the police clearance with these hard rock underground jobs, because they are dealing with explosives, it'll be the ASIO clearance. So if you've got a record really of any sort, and I'm not talking about speeding fines or anything like that, talking about um, assaults or major drug charges or that sort of stuff, then it's probably best that you give Hard Rock Underground a miss. They really do scrutinise the people that work underground uh, hard, and the reason they do that is because of the terrorism laws and that they've got access to explosives. So I hope that information helps and clears up a little bit about where the actual long-term careers are in mining. If you want a long-term career, the best thing that you can do is to get into Hard Rock Underground. And once you've done your five years practical experience, come and sit your WA shift bosses ticket in WA. And that has become a de facto international qualification. If you have a look through these jobs, you'll see the overseas jobs come up. And a prerequisite for the majority of them is having a shift bosses ticket a WA shift bosses ticket I hope you find that information helpful and if you've got any more questions just please send them through and if you could like and subscribe the channel and share this information around that would be wonderful thank you